Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys had a smooth transition to back to school. But application seasons for universities are just around the corner and I wanted to pump out as many videos as possible for you guys. So today we're going to be talking about one of the most competitive programs in Canada, McMaster Health Science. In today's video, we're going to go over everything you need to know to apply to McMaster Health Science. We're going to cover academics, we're going to talk about admissions, we're going to talk about student life, and we're going to talk about funding. So starting with career opportunities, McMaster Health Science is the right program to, for you if you're trying to pursue a career in medicine. 15 to 20 percent of students in their third year of McMaster Health Science get into med school and over 50 percent of students in their fourth year get med school offers uh, in their final year. If you're a student interested in exchanges, McMaster Health Science got your back. They have fellowship programs, they have research programs, and they also have study abroad programs where you can travel in Asia, in Europe, and in many other continents and many countries in the world. In these exchanges, you may participate in a fellowship program, you may participate in maybe like a research study exchange, or you can just straight up do an study exchange for a semester or even for a full year. So for the courses you need to take in your first year of McMaster Health Science, I'm going to just put it up right here because there are six mandatory courses that you need to take. So now let's talk a little bit about admissions. So what high school courses do you need to take in order to apply to McMaster Health Science? First, I just wanted to get clear that you need a minimum of 90% in all six of these courses in order to even apply. But in addition, these courses include biology, chemistry, English, one elective, and one math uh, course and one non-math, non-science or non-technology elective. So this really shows your breadth and your creativity and your diverse educational background. Next, on a little bit about weighing, not only do you need a high above 90% average for those six courses, you need to write a strong supplemental application. And McMaster weighs this 50-50, so it's really important that you nail down your supplemental application and not only just focus on grades. The admission average for McMaster Health Science generally rolls around the mid-90s. Last year's admission average was around 94%. This is generally a very high average, but averages don't always determine your admission to McMaster Health Science. They lean a lot of uh, strength and a lot of weighing onto supplemental applications as well. They care about building leaders, they build, care about your high school experience, and how you're a diverse person. The acceptance rate for McMaster Health Science ranges from 5 to 10%. Now that we got that out of the way about admissions, let's talk a little bit about the fun parts, about student life, what the dorms are, and what the social scene is like. So starting with residents, they have a plenty full of options. Make sure you guys go down in the link and look at the pictures and look at all the options. But some of the options include single room with connected washroom, double room connected with washroom, apartment suite, suite style, single suite style with a connected uh, suite washroom. There are so many different options. I generally think that McMaster has one of the most diverse residences. And if you have a living style that you prefer, I bet you that McMaster can accommodate for that or you can choose the right residence for you. Now you got a residence to stay, you may be wondering, where do I eat? So McMaster does have a residence meal plan program when it comes in four different levels. It comes with light, minimum, average, and varsity, and it ranges from $3,100 to $3,700, depending on how much your credits you want to eat. If you're wondering what the social life is at McMaster, I can tell you that it's like a blast. They have an orientation week that they really try to assimilate all of the first year students to get to know the campus, get to know faculty members, and get to make a lot of new friends. They do this by having a lot of activities and games, and most importantly, they have a really big concert that they host. If you are a studious student, you may be wondering what libraries are on campus and how are the libraries. They have three main libraries, and the first one is the Mills Library, and the second one is the Thode Library. They all open from 8 a.m. to 11, so whether you wake up early to study and uh, stay up late to study, it got you covered. But in addition, they do have a health science library just in particular to give resources to health science students, and that is open from 9 a.m. to 8.45 p.m. Although it's important to focus on your academics, it's also really important to join clubs uh, of your interest to make sure you have a well-rounded university experience. In addition, you can join the Medicine and Health Society at McMaster, which is one of the most prestigious uh, pre-med societies and pre-med clubs in the country, and it definitely sends and helps you prepare for your MCAT exam. Lastly, let's talk about the funding category. 
So how much does McMaster tuition cost? It costs around $6,000 per year just for tuition. You may want to uh, leave a little bit of leeway room for miscellaneous costs, books and textbooks and other supplies you may need. Um, and for scholarships, McMaster has two main entrance scholarships that are automatically applied when you apply. But make sure I'll leave the link down below for McMaster to have a ton of other uh, scholarships depending on, if, on your background. So starting with the award of excellence. If you're in the top 10% of admissions in your faculty, you're eligible for a $3,000 award. And the second automatic entrance scholarship is the faculty-based scholarship, and your average uh, ranges from 90 to 95. And then all of the programs, they give you $1,000, and then for engineering, they award you for $3,000. The last topic I wanted to talk about is about financial aid and bursaries. So if you have a background in youth and extended care, or if you're in the indigenous or black, you can apply to OSAP and PSSP, which is uh, Ontario a Student Assistance Program and Post-Secondary Student Support Program. And you can apply through bursaries and financial aid through there. And McMaster will help subsidize you depending on your application and financial background. That's it for this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Maybe share with a friend that you think might be interested in applying to McMaster Health Science. I wish you guys the very best of, of luck in this university application cycle and make sure you guys get your university application started early. That was definitely one of the mistakes that I didn't do and I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. If you're interested in applying to scholarships or university applications, make sure you check out our three minute quiz in the description to see if you're eligible for any scholarships or you're eligible for any support in writing university applications. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.